Let me tell you something, fam. Rubbing shoulders, just standing next to the wrong man could put you in the middle of a gang war. So, man used to go to a school called Winchmore. It's in Winchmore Hill, Borough, Enfield. Touches borders with Edmonton. Literally, N9 touches borders with N21. But Winchmore Hill is such a middle class suburban type of area. It may as well be on the other side of the borough. Like, it's just a different world. No one from Edmonton goes to Winchmore Hill. There's just nothing there. But a man used to go to that school, innit? And as you know already, after school, youths like to jam. Remember that word, jam. Just hang around in clusters. Bare black pitney them. So one of the spots we used to jam at was Enfield Town McDonald's. And obviously the most notorious, the most common place we used to jam at was Edmonton Green. Bare schools, hella schools. Edmonton County, Winchmore, uh, St. Anne's Gal. Just bare Salisbury man them, Bishop's man them. Everyone was jamming at Edmonton Green. That was, that was the spot. Get me chatting to Gal and the man them from other schools. And like, everyone knew everyone. So, um, yeah, Edmonton Green's a hot spot. That was the jam after school. These times, man's year 11, 16 years old. And, like, my age group and that, the beef between the people then from my area, well, my ends, N9 and N18, was just starting to kick off and that. Um, and gangs were starting to, to form up and, you get me, round up their numbers and that. But I wasn't in it. But man knew the man then from my side. And they weren't even too, too established at that time. But anyway, man was cool with them, man. There, so man used to chat to them. Cause man know them through other man. And you get me, just jamming at Edmonton Green. Man will know Gad, man will know man. Man know everyone. So I remember one time, I was hanging around at Edmonton Green. And my mum always told me, it, yeah, stop hanging around after school and that, like, in your uniform. If you want to go out after school, that's cool. But come home and change, innit? Yeah? Don't be hanging around... Um, after school hours Like a, an hour and a half After school finishes And that like, Come home and change innit? Yeah? Like, And my mum's right I used to see youths Walking around At 8pm 9pm Still in their school uniform You know the youths Them hasn't Probably gone home And that Like if you want to go out And stay out till 7 8 o'clock at night That's cool But change out your uniform Anyway boom It's not even that late Let's say Between 4.30 and 5.30 And Man's chatting to a couple Girls from other schools And that And man's Kind of chilling with one of the man them Who is actually starting to form a gang on my side With some of his people, innit? And next thing I know Eight youths from the other side In my year group and maybe a year above They basically surrounded us And they, they're moving to my man But they're not really like I'm standing next to him But man's still trying to bridge the gap, innit? Because I can see them coming and that And basically they kind of surrounded us and that And one of the youths is all picked up a cone and my guy that I'm with, he's had to pick up a bottle and that to get me arm himself, in it. Yeah, it's basically, it's basically him on his own, really. I'm just standing with him, innit, yeah? And basically, he's had to arm himself, innit? Yeah? Luckily, luckily, before anything got mad, anything got kicked off, before anyone was left in a casualty state, the community police officers was there, innit? Like, they were always at Edmonton Green. That's how the community police officers all know, man, and that. And, um, yeah, they squashed the thing, innit? Uh... And I was just thinking to myself, like, whew, because I would have been in a position where if my man got rushed, it's like, blood, why didn't you back it? Why didn't you defend, man? So this is the thing. When you're standing and rub your shoulders with certain man, you get caught up in a crossfire. If you don't defend, man, you're going to look like an idiot, fam. Same thing. This is why I hate jail, innit? I'm going to touch on this in a minute. But anyway, so boom. You get me the man name's come, picked up cones. My man, that man's chilling with, he's picked up a bottle and that to arm himself. Uh, the community police officers and that have come and brought the thing up in it. Yes, I'm like, woof, got away with that one day. Because I'm not involved in their drama at that moment. Man, don't I know who them lot are from the other side? I ain't friends with them. I just know them because it's a small area. Everyone knows it, who everyone is, whether they're friends or not. But I'm with my man. He's involved. Certain man just expect, oh, we're chilling together. We're cool. I expect you to back my beef in it. So that's why I hate about like you know. Anyway. So boom, this is how I actually, I actually got involved in the thing, innit? So I think it was probably a month after that. Um, I'm walking through Edmonton Green um, bus station. It's like, I think, six o'clock at night. Them lot from the other side want to ride out 20 man deep. And um, yeah, from far ahead, I see them run up to one of the men 
in the ends, man that I'm cool with and that. These times I'm not involved, you know. I'm not a target, but I made myself a target. They bang drop one of the man them at my nose. And me like an idiot. I don't know why. I ran over, ran past him, and ran up to the man and said, Hey, that's my boy. They've just turned around, pointed at man, you know. Next thing I know, bare hooks and that man's dodging, dodging, dodging. Had to cut, kept it moving, left them behind. They ran through Emmett and Green. And literally, these men are going through Emmett and Green, but they're running at pace. And I'm walking and um, we've just rendezvoused at Asda. And I try to run. And I think I got sweeped or something like that. A man just on the floor, taking bit. Man are just stepping on man, literally stepping on man like crisp. Um, so after man's got rushed and that bear dusty and that, I got up and that. And um, obviously, them lot must have got the drop that oh, you get me. Them lot are about and they rushed someone and that, and it turned out to be me. Boom. Remember I said the gang on my side wasn't really established well at this time a month or two later I can't remember how long the time was in between um, that first altercation um, them lot are kind of established now aren't they? so boom us man have linked up now and um, they say yeah but you got rushed in it yeah we're gonna ride out and then you're cool in it because it's a violation that they've come to the area and it's a violation that they've touched someone who is cool in it get me even though I kind of brought it on myself, in it? Because when I ran to go and defend the youth that got bang dropped, he didn't pick himself up and, you get me, come to back me and that. Maybe he didn't know, on it, But I just see him walking off and I'm all dodging punches and I had to run. So anyway, I remember we were standing at the top of uh, Emmett and Green. Uh, so boom, it's a little spot where we can just look out over Emmett and Green bus station, like a vantage point. So boom, we're chilling. First it's five man, then it's ten, then it's fifteen, twenty man deep. And um we're chilling and obviously them man are saying, well, what happened then? And I explain the story and that. And they say, yeah, cool, obviously we're just waiting for more man, then we're gonna go and ride that and that. Get me. Because them man they can't come here and rush someone. You get me, that's a violation, it's so all get me quick replies, isn't it? So boom. Um I was thinking to myself, like, yeah, do you know what? Now I'm in a position where I've involuntary or whatever voluntary involved myself in this thing now. Because them lot on the other side, if they see me, they're probably gonna try and move to me again. So I might as well get on to them before they try to get on to me. Literally, we're on top of the lookout spot. Like I said, 10, 15, 20 man ready, wait for night time to come. Then literally we just faded into the darkness to carry out the night mission. Um, nothing mad though, nothing too too crazy. Obviously, I wrote about it in my book as well. But um, yeah, that's how man got involved in in the, in the gang thing and that. The car, first of all, man was rubbing shoulders with you get me kind of like the wrong people and that. And then obviously I put myself in a position where I got rushed and that. So I said, well, boy, basically I'm in now, innit? Uh, you get me? I put myself in. Uh, man's raging war against them lot and that. But um, back to what I was saying before, what I don't like about the jail thing is. You could just be cool with a man. Like, especially if you know someone from the street, like, you just, you get me, it might not even be your dog or nothing like that, but if you know someone from the ends and you bump into him in jail, literally, if he's having a madness, he's expecting you to back him. Nah, if a man don't subscribe to that, you get me? Man don't subscribe to that, literally. Like, I know a man who, both men are from Edmonton, but one of them started banging for Hackney, for the last 10 years he hardly knows this guy he just remembers him like in passing and that they were never brethren they were never dogs and literally my you from hackney is beefing someone from another estate in hackney in jail and he's expecting my man from edmonton to just jump in and back the beef and, that. and i'm like raw what just because you two is cool man must jump in and really get involved in your ends what that's going on in jail nah fam nah blood this is the tig, yeah? And in jail, it's, oh, it's the worst as well because certain men are just bandwagoning on other men's beef and that. Like, literally, I remember there was one new um, from South East London uh, and um, someone from another wing, so this shoot from South East was on my wing. Someone from another wing put a hit on him and said to someone else, I beg you round up a couple men and smack up this shoot from South East London, yeah? 
So you from South East London is on my wing and someone else from another wing has said to a set of man on my wing, blood, I can't get to him. I beg you, man, move to the shoe. And literally, he ran up in the cell, kicked at the cell, mate, and brushed him up in the cell. Literally, this guy was like an alien, fam. Fuck you, fam. This man and man bandwagoning and other man's beef and that. Literally, even the Edmonton news. Man, them from my ends, they're telling, I'm hearing stories, the man are telling me that they're mashing up youths from Catford and I'm like, what? Us man is from Edmonton, we're at the top of North London, geographically. Catford is all the way down in South East London. Them man there may as well be in another country, much less another planet. Yeah? Like, we ain't got nothing to do with them man over there, innit? But obviously, I guess things do kick off with Joe and that, innit? But yeah, probably because man are bandwagoning with other man. You'll be from Edmonton or Tottenham and you will have beef within your perimeter on the street. But you'll go to jail and you'll end up beefing Brixton news. Because you're jumping in and getting involved in a man's beef who's from Peckham that you're cool with, blood. But you're from Edmonton. Don't make no sense, bro. But and that's all to do with rubbing shoulders with the wrong man, being in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong man. Imagine if the guy that I know from Edmonton that weren't really on it was getting involved with that Hackney Utes beef. Well, imagine if he got involved and he backed it and he stepped on someone. Well, what happens when he goes to another wing and he's seen all these hackney youths and they're like, right, hey, that's my man. Fam, it's long, blood. It's long, fam. So when I was in jail, but man, they're not bandwagon on this beef thing, fam. Back getting involved in other man's beef and that, that's long. Literally, like, there's a call to honour, fam. Like, <laughs> you get me, you need to back your soulmate and that. Your soulmate might not even be certy like that. Or you might not be certy like that. But man are gonna look at you to back their beef that you ain't got. You don't know what's going on. Most man don't even know um the origins of their own beef, let alone the origins of these man's beef that's from South London or East London or wherever the hell they're from. Most man don't even know the origin of their beef. Most man are involved in generational beef. They don't even know that the origin of their beef was over a gal in a club 20 years ago. Literally, fam. Literally, bro. Man are just inheriting beef. Beefing, man, over things they don't... Obviously, man, violate. Obviously, man are going to want to understand, innit? But man don't even understand the origins of this thing. But literally, they're willing to give their life for it, fam. It's long, fam. Mm, so yeah man that's the uh, yeah i feel to make a video soon about you know what i end up doing anyway about what not to get involved in in jail and, uh, and definitely like jumping on and bandwagoning with other man's beef and stuff like borrowing cds and that or oh yeah give me a snickers and i'll uh i'll give you back two on my ken t-shirt but well, that's a recipe for disaster isn't it? but yeah, that's basically the end of the video and uh, anyway. Um, yeah, depending on, you know, if you rub shoulders with the wrong man, you can literally plonk yourself in, in the middle of a war. There's a war going on and you're in the middle of it just because you're rubbing shoulders with this man. Stay where I don't know.